Hey guys, so I'm going to give you some tips on how to save up for an American Girl doll. Because the dolls are getting much more popular, the prices are getting much, much higher. So remember that when you're saving up, you have to save up for both shipping and for the doll. Okay, so first tip is to split your money. Try to have one wallet for your American Girl doll savings and also one wallet for your know yourself, shopping, donating, for your own personal use, and you're good. Okay, now we got to get to persuading our parents. Okay, we all know we can't do this on our own. We need some of our parents' help. So if they think we're a little bit too old for dolls, remind them that there's other YouTubers who can do so many amazing things with dolls, like making videos. We want our parents to know that we can impress them by making videos with our dolls, that dolls aren't just there to stand there and look pretty. We want our parents to know that we can do so many creative things with dolls so that we don't have to do things like just stand around the house all day and play computer or watch TV. Remember, you want your parents to help you with your savings. It probably took a while, but once your persuasion skills have kicked in, your parents can probably help you with your savings. Don't ask for too much, maybe a couple of dollars a week. You just want them to know that you're mature enough to save up for this doll and you want their permission because you do not want to wait longer when you finally have the right amount. Okay, now we're going to talk about how we're going to balance our savings per week, per month, per day. This is really, really helpful. If this is helpful, use a calendar to mark your dates and stuff like that. Try saving $10 each week in your AG wallet. So pull out some money from your parents' wallet or from your own wallet and put it in your AG wallet each week. Every other week, put some in your wallet. We have to save money for people we care about also, like our dog, our family. So once we have savings $10 for our AG and $5 for, of course, ourselves, we're good to go and we have a nice equal amount in our wallet. You will be a happy camper and not mad that you did your savings wrong. Try doing chores around the house for maybe $5 a week. Do not ask for too much money, please. You're just being annoying because your parents already do enough for you. But if they offer a little bit more, don't be afraid to accept it. Just tell them to stop funding for you after you're finished saving up for your AG doll. Don't be afraid to ask your neighbors if they need help around the place. If you can mow their lawn, walk their dogs, do any of that small stuff, they'll probably pay you $20 a week or every time you do that. But watch out for pedophiles. Okay, most importantly, do not keep on asking your parents for money to save up for your next doll once you save up for the one you had already. Give yourself a break from saving up for your doll once you already got one because, you know, you have to spend money on other stuff that are, you know, more important because there's much more other important stuff to spend money on other than your doll. So, yeah, that is all. I hope you, my tips have left you guys smiling like this cute little angry bird. And good luck in your savings. If you have any questions, please contact me on these websites. Formspring.com slash kinsbubblet. You do not need an account to ask me any question. Just type in any question for me or any kind of comment that you want to tell me and I'll be happy to reply. Please tell me in the comments which doll you're saving up for because I'm really interested to hear you guys' opinions on which doll you want. So thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye!